Hey guys, Micah here, and uh, you know James Hansey needs no introduction. Hey James, you said a thing to me um, last week, week before, a couple weeks ago, recently, sure. sometime recently, and uh, you're leading the huddle yes. on Sunday mornings that's with correct. a group of guys yep. uh, before, like before, before, before church, yeah, like true. it's uh -huh. relatively early for a Sunday. Yeah, right. But uh, but you you and I were talking, and you said this is, I think, my favorite hour of the week. Yeah, is that? Yeah, we just had that conversation in the huddle. Great. Um, and all of us felt like it's one of the best hours of our week. And I think it's because it's an opportunity for us to actually be real. Mm -hmm. And I think there's just great things that come out of when we're talking about the scripture. And that's yeah. a big deal. Yeah. Um, and we don't get that opportunity too many places in our week. Yeah. Right. How many times are we actually sitting down talking about what the Bible says? Right. Right. <laughs> right? So Huddle provides that opportunity. So. Yeah, so we went literally went around the circle, and every guy there said, "Yeah, this is totally one of the best hours of my week." So here's the thing that was weird for me though that you went through a huddle that with me, right? And then you've led your own. Yep. So you now, feel like you'd kind of know, like you'd be you'd know all that stuff. Yeah, now. that's like, true. But it's still it's still it still is right. Like it doesn't get old because of the people you're with, and because you're sharing about what's going on right then. It's like you read the Bible, right? The Bible doesn't change, right? I, I but I change, so I might read the same passage today, and I'll read it two years from now, but my life is different. I literally so said some, this in last week's uh, uh, yeah. video. So, yeah, you'll, so, so it's yeah. the same thing with Huddle, right? So like you could almost go through Huddle with the same people. You wouldn't. But it'd right. be different because your life is different, and things are changing, right. and right. you're processing those changes uh, with your Huddle. Yeah. So that's what's cool. So some of the stuff I'm struggling with now, I didn't necessarily struggle with mm -hmm. with my previous huddle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? But, right. But no, for, I get that. So there's different things you're talking about, and there's different ways you're encouraging each other. Right. So it's always fresh. It's always good. All right. So I want to dig into something yeah. else because uh, I, I think this is really fascinating. Um, the, what I see in myself, and I think you mentioned that you see kind of the okay. same thing, is – actually, let me even back up from there. I have always had this thing where I'm like, oh, people want to grow – we need to like put them in a growth environment, like teach them things. And, and what I have found for me personally is that leading other people, uh, both huddle or stride or whatever it is, actually is way more of a growth environment for me yeah. than the growth in my environments that I've put sure. myself in, sure. if that makes any sense. Sure. Does that? Yeah, you speak sure. to that? I mean, it's the idea that the teacher always learns more than the students. Right. So if you're leading a huddle, you're prepping, you're thinking about the people in your huddle. And so you're probably spending a little more thought time than mm -hmm. the people in your huddle, mm -hmm. which is a good thing. So you're going to get more out of it because you're investing a little bit more into it. And the same thing as I'm leading Stride. I feel right. like I'm with right. good people, but I probably am getting right. more out of Stride right. than the people that I'm right. – and I, I wrote Stride. So I mean, yeah, right, yeah, right. I mean, no, I get it. No, James Dr we, did it. Yeah, we, right, a bunch right, of us wrote Stride. Yeah. yeah. James did a ton with Stride. Yeah, no, it's but, all good. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I get it. But it's like I shouldn't be surprised. Yeah, right. I'm like, man. Yeah. That's a really yeah. good question. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, no, that's exactly right. So you're you're right. Those provide leading other people always provides more growth so, than you being a student or just absorbing something that somebody's telling you. And so one it's of the things that way. one of the things that I think is fascinating is that we in the church, and especially I think we as right. as leaders in the church who specifically focus right. on the development of the adults in the church, right? Right. Like that's Correct. both of us. Yeah. I think that. If I look, I don't necessarily think at this, at this time, but if I look historically over the last 10, 20 years, like I have missed the boat on this song mm. because I have not put people, I don't want to put a bad leader out right, there, right? Sure. Like, like, I, just want right. To, I just want to prepare and prepare right. and we're preparing forever. Right. And, right. and I, I'm more right. and more being convinced that, right. man, it's just time to put people out there. And, right. Let, well, and that's what we talked about that in the stride preparation. Yeah. Right. The stride material, we're trusting the word of God and the spirit of God. That's right. Right. We're just putting that in the hands of people and saying, read the Bible together, sit down and talk about it. <laughs> That's right. And let God do some cool stuff. And, that. Do, and So it's that sort of thing, right? We always have this mentality. No, no, no. You have to be this trained, you know, Bible college educated person before you can. No, right, right. Century, just give them the Bible, trust the Holy Spirit, you know, give them some framework to that's, do that and go. And that's because part of the question really is, where is my trust? Like, is yeah. my trust in... 
Like right, you, right. as a stride leader or as a huddle leader, right. my trust really is not in you. Although right. I do like you and I trust that's, you. That's exactly right. It's really about, I right. trust God right. to be at work through you. I right. trust the Holy Spirit. I trust yeah. the Bible. Yeah. Like I, my trust is in, right. is in that's exactly right. those pieces. Right. And I believe that God can do in you mm -hmm. the things that he says he wants to do right. in you and through you. Right. So um, even, as right. we, even as we ponder and we think like, am I able to do this? Is this something I can do? Mm -hmm. Uh, I just want you to know, first of all, first of all, that the best way to prepare, the best way to get better at something is to do it, right? right. The best way to, the best way to prepare is just to go do it. Right. So if you're, if you were, if this was right. film school, right, we'd say you need to go make some movies, right? right? Or if this was, uh, right. if we were doing, if we were, if this was basketball camp, I'd like just go get a ball and right. start dribbling, start dribbling, yep. right? So with, with um, disciple making in general, it's like you just got to start somewhere just and go. just just go, right? Go meet right? with somebody and just. Start the process. Yep, and then yep. Uh, and then then at the kind of meta level, we are putting our trust not in you particularly, right. although I think you're trustworthy people. Right, we're really putting our trust in God. Right, so right. That's and, it. Anything else? No, that's good, man. All right, that's good stuff. See you guys next week. All right, bye.